What do you do when the number one player in the world is doing live attacks in your clan? You spam that watch button and see him crush bases with Super Archer Blimp Lalo. Alright, Clash of Clans lied to us and said he wasn't live, but we've just caught it in time here. This is Sarwan. He reset 11th in the world, coming in with Super Archer Lalo. We've had many videos of him on the channel. Uh, for those in the YouTube live stream, because this is the 30k subscriber event, uh, just go to the YouTube channel and search up Super Archer Lalo and you will find this. For everyone watching this on delay, I can link it up or something like that. But yeah, look at this value. Bruh! The base is gone! <laughs> and this is what you expect from the guy that reset number 11 in the world. Like, look at this. He got the town hall as well. That's the insane thing. Now, just using one titan. Oh, he's messed this up. So you wanted the titan to fight the hound here, but the titan's getting targeted by the eagle. Queen has to fight the headhunter because the titan couldn't take it down. Can the titan get down the hound in time? So the eagle is targeting it. This is huge because you don't want just random lava pops all over the map. Titan, live. Okay, the titan is so clutch. Nice double wall break. We can't reach this scatter though, so I got a feeling the RC will come in. Or we've got a second wall break. Let's see. Let's see what this second wall break does. Nope, gonna use the RC. That's kind of what, I've ex what I expected. Now there is two multis up and all the heroes. So as crushed as this looks, it's not over yet, but I'm pretty confident he should be able to finish this one off. King ability goes off, going inside the base, only one air defense left. And looks like doing a mini Lalo from the left side, but expect the main Lalo to come from the right. Yep, and he's going to use the Ice Hound. He wants this Ice Hound to die. He wants it to get targeted by all the heroes, the Phoenix. Oh, this is so crushed. <laughs> Goodbye, base. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked, Roro. And this, this is why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the point of this celebration stream. To enjoy some of the best Super Archer Lalo action that there is. He took down, like, the whole base with that blimp. Sorry we missed the start of it. Blame that on Clash of Clans, but I'm pretty happy we got to see the ending. All right, another box here, but look at how he's doing this. He is definitely trying to get this town hall without using his warden. Finds the Sam. Sweeper hits. He he'll want to get this multi inferno. So watch where he'll ang he's gonna angle this clone. Yeah, the invis like that, because he's just trying to like obviously the super archers when they land you can't move those ones. But you can move the ones you clone. Now, this is a mess. Look at all these archers everywhere. This is this is the toughest possible scenario for someone doing Super Archer Lalo. When there's just these skeletons everywhere. So we're gonna have wasted... Not really wasted, but one or two of our invis wouldn't have got much value. Because our Super Archers were not targeting troops. And yeah, we do not get much value there. We do not get much value. And that right there is probably the best way you can stop this army. Is... Just a bunch of skeletons, traps, a witch, I think, was in the defensive CC as well. Let's see if we can still make this work. It's still doable. Like, we still got a warden. I don't think we're going to do a ground warden like you've seen most of the time on the other attacks. Because there's just not much value here. We need the warden with the Lalo. This rage tower is really going to be the difference here. Good wall break. Unfortunately, our king's going outside. I genuinely have no idea how we're going to do this, but the fact that our Titan did not deal with that Ice Girl is annoying. Our Queen's going to take a bit extra damage. Thankfully, it's just one multi-inferno. 1 minute 20. Like, we got to get going now, right? I don't know what he's waiting for. I hear the RC go down. Yep. That's exactly what I thought should be doing. If this King gets the Scatter down, then we should be good. But I think he's going to run outside the base. Nope, he stays in. Ice Golem goes off. Unfortunately, our king is not going to get that scatter down, but the queen should. Perfect warden ability. We get everything in it. Our king kills the enemy. It kills the enemy, what was it, RC. Lalo coming across. The rage tower is putting in work, but the loons are just simply better. We stun the eagle just in time, and GG. Turns out you don't need to have a perfect super arch to triple with this army. If you just take down the base bit by bit, he used the king and queen for one side, came with the lava the other side with the RC in the core, you can triple anything. In fact, this is even more wrecked than some of his other attacks. How did that happen?
this guy's insane. Okay. Here we go. Is he gonna... So we get the Headhunter in. And Headhunter's job isn't to kill the RC, but to put a bit of damage on her. So we know the Sweeper's gonna hit once. Maybe even twice. We do not need it hitting three times. And that's kind of exactly where we wanted that to go. Make sure the, uh, the ice golems are nowhere near. We eat that giant bump. Thankfully, the super archers have just enough health. Oh, the invis missed a few. We lost quite a few super archers there. And then the chain off the CC does not quite get the multi. We lose a few more super archers, I believe. Can we get this multi? You see this multi? That's like 1 HP. Wait, can we get the eagle? Okay, we get the eagle. We do not quite get the rage tower. But I mean... <laughs> We got pretty good value, right, guys? Yeah, Warden. Warden, come help! Oh, the Warden's a god. Look at this man. Can he activate the Rage Tower? I forget how the Rage Tower works. Does he have to be in range? Or is it a building inside us to be targeted? Wait, can he get the Rage Tower? Wait, funnel, funnel, funnel your warden in to get the rage tower. Sorry, I know stuff's going on over here. But imagine if the warden snipes that rage tower. Titan coming in. Will obviously help with all of these skeleton traps. That rage tower's gonna go off again. Surely the RC comes in here? No, the queen goes in. Oh my word, we've got an air warden. No, RC, behave! Good RC. We like that. Phoenix is putting in work. Up the wa- <laughs> Nice try, Warden. Nice try. Feels bad. RC, please stun. Oh, that's even better. Queen ability goes off. And that is pretty routine. That is arguably today the most, like, meta- sort of super archer lala here we've seen sarwan do a few alternative entries some of the time not even using the warden but that is your stock standard approach there and it gets in the 40 cups he's kind of wrecked this one that the, the path of that warden was honestly the highlight for me in that video uh, that attack let me know in the chat right now what did you enjoy about it Final attack of the day for someone as you can tell he's number one in the world and he's in my clan so obviously we're gonna go watch him. This guy's insane. Having a great day. Warden Blimp going across the base. There is a sweeper. It's angled this way. And the other, well, the other one's angled the other way. We just gotta not land on the bomb tower. Beautiful. And look at this. We're gonna clone the super archers into the middle. Wall breakers get sprung. That's actually perfect. Oh, we clone a few super archers. Definitely on top of that bomb tower. <laughs> Kind of, somehow we haven't shot the bomb tower yet. Oh, we definitely missed the super arch there. But he wanted to make the eagle visible. He was scared of missing it. We want that other scatter, but we don't get it. And we're just going to damage the monolith instead. Ooh. Missing that scatter is bad. We needed that down. We needed that down. Can't believe I'm... Oh, ice golem! <laughs> There's no defenses in this town or compartment, so the ice golem couldn't go in there. That's pretty funny, actually. King for one multi. Oh, Queen's not dealing with the enemy, Queen. King for one multi, RC for the other. Lalo from the top side, surely? Yep. King, king, king. Good king. We just have nothing to kill this, uh... We have nothing to kill this queen. That's the problem here. Do we have our diggy? We do. Diggy stun. Diggy stun. And we're not gonna end the day on a triple R. That's sad. He had such a good start to the day. Not gonna quite end on a triple, but I mean. Still A, a good attack. B, a little unlucky about this defensive queen and that scatter. I think if they both go down, this is absolutely wrecked. But I think the most important thing to note is we just casted attacks of the number one player in the world. Now, 
Obviously, he's done his attacks a little earlier in the day, but he still reset multiple accounts inside the top 10, having an insane season, Sar1 is. If you want to see more videos for those watching this not live, I will link it to the left. Make sure you watch it, Sar1, one of the best in the world with this army, which is one of the best armies in the world at the moment.